Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to save bandwidth on your Roku device, your TV. I have been, for the last few weeks, been covering Roku um, devices and TV, so make sure you go back and check those out. I'll put the links down below so you can go see those. Today, I'm going to show you how to save some bandwidth because we know all smart TVs use bandwidth and so does every other device we have. And it's nice to be able to cut back on the bandwidth if you're not using the device at all. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, but before we get going, hit the like on the video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. We come out with every Thursday. That's right, Thursday. All right, first thing we want to do, we want to get our remote. If you have your remote, it's easier to do with that. And we're going to turn on our Roku TVs or our Roku devices. And then once you're on, look to the left menu. Once you're there, you're going to scroll down with your the arrows on your remote. You're going to click on settings. Makes a lot of sense. So you're going to click on settings. And then over here you're going to see network. It's right at the top. It should be the first thing on your list. And you want to hit the OK on your remote again. And my wife did mention to me once, you can just push the arrow over. But I'm, I like to use the OK. So you're going to click on that OK on your remote. And then it's going to go here where it tells you about your, your network you're running on your Wi-Fi. I mean, you're going to go down all the way to Bandwidth Saver. Pretty easy to find. If you don't, if you never knew it was there, it's there. So you want to hit OK on your remote again. Once you do that, you're going to be over here. And this is kind of cool. This is, um, if you haven't used the remote in four hours, a message will, will display asking you if you're still watching. If you don't respond, the app will stop streaming to save your network bandwidth. Isn't that nice of it? So you can have it on. I have mine on, but you can always turn it off if you don't want it. So if you turn it off, it's going to say when bandwidth saver is turned off, an app that has been streaming for four hours or more will continue to stream. Very straightforward. So I like to have mine on. Let me turn mine off so now you know it's off. Go back to here and just hit the OK on your, your remote, and that's it. That's how easy it is. You can save some bandwidth off your smart TV, your Roku TV, and it's that easy to do. Uh, make sure to check out some other videos I've done. I'll put links down below so you can go check them out. I put a lot on YouTube, so make sure you're checking these all out. Also, davescomputertips.com. You can see a lot of how-to, vi um, not videos, but how-to articles on there. So make sure you check them out, too. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.